Hey everybody, I'm the So Fox and welcome to World War 3. This game came out a couple of years ago. Um, it just recently released an open beta, if you will, um, I believe at the end of last year. So I'm just not getting around to playing it. Um, I've put a couple of rounds in so far and it's pretty fun. I just wanted to, you know, test the waters with it. See if it'd be something I'd be interested in playing. And it, it is. It very highly resembles Battlefield in a way, but, you know, not the shitty Battlefield 2042. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos from this game on my channel, make sure to hit the like button, comment, or subscribe. Uh, we are at 343 subs, trying to get to 400 by the end of the year. So if that would be possible, I'd be super happy. Show that all my hard work is paying off, and I know I have a horrible uploading schedule. Um, it just has to do with time constraints and working and all that fun stuff of being an adult. Um, so this is a first person shooter developed by the Farm 51 if you're not familiar with them. Uh, pretty decent development studio. Um, don't really have the whole list of stuff that you make. But this is a one of their first like, first person realistic military sims. Um, and as I previously said, it does highly resemble Battlefield. Now, that is not necessarily a bad thing. The only downside to this game right now is the performance and the fact that there's only like a handful of maps. And thankfully, the maps are relatively good, so it's not too much of a bummer. Gunplay and uh, gameplay itself as well as the mechanics. Pretty good. Um, there's only a few flaws, one of them being with the sliding. Sometimes you'll get stuck. Uh, and then when you go from crouching to running, you actually have to hit the crouch button, otherwise you just do like a slow like, crouch crab walk. Which is really weird, but yeah. I'm sure they'll have all this ironed out by the time the full game releases, which I do believe that it's releasing is free to play at some point in the year. Um, there is no information on that as far as I'm aware. Now, they could be you know, releasing more info soon on that, which I would imagine they will. But, you know, just keep an eye on it. This is a game that I recommend people playing. I just, I love supporting the development studios from, you know, the smaller publishing titles and games that will most likely make a name for themselves. And with Battlefield 2042 being an absolute disaster, this game definitely has a place for that up and coming title to be. Movement is a little weird sometimes. Um, kind of get stuck on doorways, but and staircases. But hey, it's realistic, and that's all that matters. Let's see. What do we think? This is a team death match. I'm not entirely. I wasn't really paying attention at all. But you can see it shows exactly where. Where they hit. And then if you look at the bottom left hand bottom left hand corner shows you how much armor you have and how much mobility you have with that armor slash class you have equipped. Um, so <clears throat> the more like, the heavier the equipment, less you less mobility you have. I have a med kit, I'll pop that down and just heal myself up real quick. I don't know if anybody else is coming up here. Probably crouch real quick just to get the edge on them. Oh, there's already a med kit placed down. Dead. He is, kind of has a like, weird throwing. Animation like the arm breaks. I 
every time <laughs> every time you throw a grenade. But yeah, I mean, it, other game that released was Crossfire X, and you know that it's an okay game, but there's only like, only like five maps on there, and each map is tied to a game mode. So I kind of stopped playing that. I was gonna do, you know, I was gonna do a little bit of like gameplay videos for it, but I just I figured it's not really worth it. And the campaign was so goddamn boring. Like I, I played the first mission. I was like, all right, this is, you know, this is pretty much all it is. It's a very guided experience. I wouldn't even say that it's a campaign. It's literally just them telling you where to go and not not like you know call of duty or battlefield where they'll tell you what to do but you kind of have some sort of freedom this is very like very linear this very tightly packed corridors which you know if that's the style they're going for great but i would not spend money on that game i, I didn't end up buying it i bought the uh but like the support pack, whatever they wanted to call it, just to see how it would be, so I had access to it before it released on the Game Pass. Now, this game has, you know, I believe it's four maps, I think. Um, could be mistaken on that one. Let's see. Yeah, it has uh, Warsaw, Berlin, Moscow, Smolensk, and then Holly Arnie. Pretty sure I butchered the last two cities, but uh, for the most part, the maps are interchangeable with game modes. But you know, the maps are heavily, uh, highly detailed, so it makes up for the lack of maps. But at least you know these developers have come out and said that they're working on other maps. Damn it. Yeah, um, I thought about getting back into Call of Duty, like, uh, Cold War, but, you know, with the new one releasing in a couple of months, I just, I didn't feel like it's worth doing. Man, I, I don't know if people still play, I don't know if people still play it. I'm sure they do, since... Uh, since Vanguard was such a flop, which by the way, when they had their little two-week free period to play the game, I had it. I, I had it. I was in, I installed it. I played it for a little bit, and yeah, it was as bad as people said. You know, the gunplay was not good. The movement movement was fine. Um, the maps were very lackluster. Just basic ass boring maps had no like there was no sense of replayability on them i mean it had to, they have to have been the worst call of duty maps that i've ever played on and then saying a lot because i played black ops 4 and those maps were literally just ripped right from the ring. this is absolutely bullshit we just getting a fucking smackdown I, got, I have got to get better weapons in this game, but the problem is that I have to rank up, and I can't rank up if I can't kill people. So I just have to, just have to be better at the game. There you go. Finally, I got one kill. If that's the only kill I get, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. I will be content. Yeah, this dude, like, literally goes to extreme lengths to break his wrist to toss that grenade. It's actually crazy. Oh. Shit. Hell yeah. Oh, we won that quickly? Really?
I think it's oh best of two rounds. So wait, what? What? Oh, okay. I didn't say what? We just start off with 38. Just take a little bit of time to reset, I guess. So this is team deathmatch. <coughs> Does have in-game chat for texting at least. I don't know if it has like voice chat or not. I haven't really tested it out. Not really a voice chat kind of person, so I wouldn't really use that feature. But if you're you know more into like the tactical side of things, I'm sure the voice chat would be good. I mean, unless you're gonna be playing with like a group of friends and you just, you know, hop on a Discord or something, you can speak, whatever people still use. Oh. That's always fun. Um. Ba -ba -ba. And yeah, this, I mean, you know, it's its definitely a game, that's for sure. Run into here real quick. Oh. That's fun. This health kit. I'm thinking of, uh, I, know I always say this, but I'm thinking of doing a Minecraft Let's Play again. Since, I mean, I don't know, I, I don't really have a younger audience. My, uh, my demographic is like 90%, 96% male, and with the age range of like 18 to 24. I mean, you know, Minecraft is a game for all ages, but I feel like, you know, videos like that are kind of just for people, young people, like, 14 and younger, so, I mean, if I wanted to increase my demographic, I could do that, but, at this time, I don't feel the need to do so. My thing, if I play, I, you know, <coughs> install, it's all a bunch of mods. As always, just to make it more fun. Give me something to do. Play around with stuff I haven't played with before. Somebody play. Uh, there was someone behind me. Oh, that's why I Sir, it's like every time I go talk about the enemy team, I get capped. It's just about to say, you know, why can't I see anybody? And then there is only seven people, and then I get fucking RPG'd in the back by the same dude who has no other skills other than sitting in a window. An RPG. Five kills to win? Nope. You're not gonna kill me. Damn it. You need to stop. We're gonna lose. I mean, it's already, <clears throat> it's already been decided. There's no way we're gonna pull back. Yeah, they literally had to kill one person. Yep. Lost that round. I think that's the match. Pretty sure the match is over. Yep. Alright, well, if y'all want to see more of this game, uh, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Have a good night.